Good morning everyone, welcome to our online video tour of this two-bedroom flat in Minster which is Elm Tree House. Just starting outside the property to the rear as there is an allocated parking space and um, which is just behind the property. So as you can see here's the parking and then you do have this door which then takes you into the communal areas and also the entrance to the flat. So we are on the ground floor, which is nice, nice and accessible. So we'll head straight in. If there were any questions at any point, you do have a little box on your screen, so feel free to pop through any questions to me. If you need me to look at anything again for you as well, please just pop me through a quick comment. So once you head in that communal door, it's first thing on the left, straight through, and then you're into the flat itself. So, coming on through, you have a really nice large entrance area here. And you do have quite a bit of storage space as well, which is very handy. Most flats don't. So in here, you've got your entrance intercom system. And then this great bit of storage here, as soon as you walk in. So this will make a really good shoe coat closet. So you've got this little shelf, loads of space at the bottom, and also your fuse box as well. So really fantastic storage space there. And then in the next cupboard along, we've then got the hot water cylinder. So that's where that's located. Yeah, really nice large entrance corridor as well. Doesn't feel cramped at all. And then moving into the flat, the first room we'll go into is the sort of the master bedroom. So this is the one with built-in wardrobes and en suite. So as you can see, nice and neutral, gray carpets, and um, light gray on the walls. So very in fashion at the moment. Here is your en suite. So again, really good size for an en suite bathroom. So you've got your toilet and sink, a little shelf and mirror above and a socket for shaver. And then you've got your shower here as well. So really good size and it's all nice and modern and clean as you can see. So this is the bedroom area. So you've got room for double bed. You might be able to see the imprint on the floor of where they've had it before. And then in this corner would be a good space for a little unit. You've also got an um, aerial plug there as well for a TV if you wanted one. And then you've also got built-in wardrobes as well which is very handy, it means you don't have to get your own, it's all here for you. So under there you've got hanging rail, shelf space up top, and storage space at the bottom. So it's got everything you need in this bedroom. And in here we've also got a thermostat as well, temperature control. Just across the hallway we've then got our bathroom. So again, really good sized bathroom, especially for a flat and very modern very clean as you can see. So you've got your bath and taps in the middle and also shower overhead. You've then got your toilet and sink there with a little cabinet, medicine cabinet and shelf for storage of bits. And you've also got a radiator in here as well. So gas central heating, keeping it nice and warm, especially coming into these colder months. Then opposite your bathroom, you've then got your second bedroom. So normally second bedroom would be a smaller single room, but this as well, you can get a double in. So really good sizes all throughout the flat. And as you can see, you've got quite a lot of plug sockets, more aerial cables in here if you wanted a TV in this room as well. It gives you all the options, all the flexibility. Nice and neutral throughout, matching the rest of the flat. And now we'll move into your living slash dining area. So the first thing you'll see is a door on its side and um, it's just being adjusted at the moment which is why it's been taken off its hinges and um, but don't worry it will be put back and um, it's this door here so connects the corridor into your dining space it will be put back before any tenancy and um, it's just being adjusted so it fits and opens better but this is your dining area slash living area if you wanted to have a dining room table completely up to you so again, nice and neutral, grey carpets, light grey on the walls. Already have blinds 
and curtains in place. So it's one less thing to think about on this wall as well. You've got blinds. So nice and easy to move into. And you've got a nice big radiator in the corner as well to keep it nice and toasty. And then down here, you've got a little media plate with all your TV and aerial cables there. So that's probably where your TV will sit in the corner. Overall, they're a really good sized space. You can look on our floor plan as well for the exact measurements of all the rooms, um, but really good size. Then got your kitchen area here as well. So again, lovely modern kitchen. You've got this nice um, dark wood effect on the cabinets. So in here, this one is storage. So although it looks sort of like fridge freezer, it's just shelves and cupboard. The fridge is actually behind us. But that one can be quite deceiving. But your fridge freezer is just turned around. So it's on this wall here, your fridge and freezer. But apart from that, you've got obviously loads of plug socket space, as you can see, jotted around for your appliances. Loads of storage above and below. So you've got shelves above and below. Here is space for your washing machine. So that fits in nicely there. And then you've obviously got your sink. And you've got your oven and hob here with extractor overhead. So it is a gas hob. And then in the kitchen, you do have another window with blinds. This one leads out to your parking, so you can sort of see out there, keep an eye on it. Okay, so that pretty much concludes our walkthrough. Um, if you did have any questions at any point, please do pop them through now and I'll do my best to answer them. What I'll briefly do is just quickly walk back through the property whilst explaining the next steps for anyone interested. So after the live tour ends today, you'll receive a text message which will contain a, contain a link to an online application form. We will just need you to go through and complete that with all of your details, at which point it's then sent to the owner. If they're happy to go ahead, we can then arrange a physical viewing for you so you can see the property in person. So that would be the, the next steps. If um, there are any struggles with the applications, if they don't come through, we're not sure on any of the questions, do just give us a call in our office or if you've been emailing someone pop us an email and um, we'd be happy to help our office number is 01795 429 836 okay so there's no new questions coming through so we'll go ahead and end the video tour here but thank you everyone for joining me this morning and we hope to hear from you soon bye bye